<laughs> the um, wooden box with the lights in, um, there were two big hangers, they called them T2 hangers. One is still standing, where Glenn Miller's band played for 200 admissions. The other one was demolished in the year 2000. And because it was built as a night fighter station for the RAF, the taxi lights were all subdued covers. a million pounds to build this side of the airfield, half a million pounds to build the other. It's a bit of a that cost you five thousand pounds, B-17 or a Lancaster about twenty-five thousand. One of these was being started every three weeks, forty-one, forty-two. And in this case, they had a fire pit where they burnt all the rubbish. some of the stuff that came out of it. Now this is a Gibson's whiskey bottle from Tennessee, and I gather Gibson's went bust in 1938. So how they how it managed to find its way to Rutland? <laughs> Somebody Who's stashed it away. <laughs> well, it went bankrupt in 1938, so, I mean, how, how do you figure that it would get here? Of course, you can see where the pottery, where they've all been were not stolen but relocated from various hotels in the area. Borrowed. <laughs> I always, I never, don't steal, I always relocate. You know, when we go blackberry picking or picking mushrooms, there's, there's mushrooms on the airfield. And I tell everybody I've got a license for it. And nine out of ten, they believe me, I need a license to pick mushrooms. <laughs> right then, follow me. Okay. <laughs>